If this forget to leave your feedback and your suggestions down below in the comments. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. Shape layers give you the ability to create vector graphic elements inside of a composition. Creating graphics that are vector gives you the ability to scale the size of that layer as large as you like without losing quality. Shape layers also have their own set of extra animations properties, which can help you create advanced looking animation relatively quickly in this project. We're going to focus on how to create shape layers by adding a couple of little stars into our skyline. Now to add shape layers the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have nothing selected in the timeline. More importantly, you want to make sure you do not have any layers selected, as if you have a layer selected when we use these tools, instead of creating shape layers, they will actually create masks on those layers. So, looking in the timeline I can see I do not have any layer selected, then I can go up to the tool panel in the upper left hand corner the interface, and clicking hold on this rectangle. Yours may have any of these other tools, but the tool that I want to choose is a star tool, because the star tool is extraordinarily versatile, the star tool can create not only stars, but he can create shapes of multiple points. Now to show you how that works once we have the star tool chosen I want you to go to the right side in the upper middle portion of the interface here you notice we have fill and the stroke. Now I don't want there to be a stroke on the star, so I'm going to hover over the stroke in on Windows, you'll hold down Alt on the Mac, you'll hold down Option and click multiple times, until you get the No symbol, and that'll tell us we have no stroke. Now let us set the fill color to something white, so I'll go ahead and click in the fill color here, and I will choose white and click OK. Now once I have done that I can go to my skyline and click and drag him notices of dragging I have a star that I have drawn out. If I hold shift as I drag it will keep that star vertical. If I hold control as a drag on windows or command as a drag on the Mac notice I can change the angle of the stars. So, I like something that is a little more like a typical Texas star so I'll choose something like that, and I know that is extraordinarily large, but we will deal with that in the second. Now once I have that shows and I can let go of the control key, and I can go over and use the up and down arrows to add more points to my star or fewer points to my star. I like in the traditional 5 pointed star, so I am going to go ahead and let go. And then I will press V to grab my selection tool. Once I have got my selection tool, I can position the star anywhere I like. Now if I want to adjust the shape where I can come down to the layer itself and open the policy star options. And down here notice it has its own set of transform options, in addition to the transform options on the layer itself, so I want to open the transform poly star option, and then here I can go ahead and decrease the scale of that star. And if I like this I can go ahead and do pull teeth this star. So, I am going to go ahead and click in this empty area here in the timeline to deselect everything. And I will click once on poly star 1 no press ctrl D on Windows or command D on the Mac that will duplicate that star. Then I can go ahead and open the options for poly start to open its transform options. And I can move its position somewhere else in the scene. Of course, I can adjust its scale. He can really make it something tiny or make it something larger. So, I encourage you to go on through and create as many stars as you like. And add them to your project. And when you are finished go ahead and notice if I scroll up to the top of the timeline and collapse later one, you'll see I only have one she player, and it contains multiple star objects. So, when it comes to creating shape players, I recommend using the creation tools in the upper left hand corner of the interface. In my opinion, the most versatile of all the sheet creation tools is the star tool, since it does give you the ability to create so many different points in different styles and shapes with one tool. What you learned. How to create stars and multi-point shapes using the star shape creation tool create a star one. Make sure no layers are selected in the timeline and choose the star tool from the toolbar. 2. Adjust the fill and stroke options to set the fill and stroke colors and styles. 3. Drag anywhere in the composition panel to create a star in the composition. 4. Use keyboard commands while pressing the mouse button to adjust the appearance of the shape being drawn. Tip. Press Option, Macos, or Alt, Windows, as you click on the Shape, Fill, or Stroke options in the Tool Panel to cycle through the different options available for filling shapes or strokes. To modify the shape drawn with the Start Tool 1. 
Drag to draw the initial shape and continue to press the mouse button. 2. As you drag the mouse, press Command, Mac OS, or Control, Windows, to change the angle of the lines between the points. 3. Press up and down arrows to add or subtract points from the shape. Adjust shape layers with shape, transform controls. Click the arrow to the left of the shape name and the timeline to open its options. Note the transform controls for each shape, in addition to the transform options of the shape layer. Add duplicate shapes to the same shape layer. Select the name of the shape to duplicate in the content section of the shape layer in the timeline, and press Command plus D, Macos, or Control plus D Windows, to duplicate the shape. Adjust the individual shape transform controls to move or adjust the new duplicate shape. Here we go we are done for today. Do not forget to leave your comment down below to help me to improve the content of the channel. See you next time. Goodbye.